pulled over on the side of the road to where you would normally take a turn to go up to Mount Ikea, but there is a protest going on. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> we're completely blocked from reaching the summit where all the telescopes are and the crater. And instead we have a major protest which has been going on for months. So yeah, this protest has been going on since April. The mount is not accessible. Mm -hmm. We'll see what these people are fighting for. If they're willing to talk to us, yep. let's find out. Let's see what we can get. All around us is spectacular scenery. It's really pretty. The clouds are actually coming in. It is chilly. Yeah. It's a good thing we have our Seattle clothing. Yeah, we brought our clothing just for this. And we're dressed like for the mountain, which is where we are. The other thing is, since we're from Seattle, we are very familiar with protests. So <laughs> I photographed a fair share of Protect, we hope, lives clean, lives clean, water for plants, animals, fish. This protest is fittingly on top of a lava field. Yeah, really, the scenery is pretty cool. We just missed going up the summit, or down, down, I think, wow. We need to use our Fujis a bit too. Yeah, we'll capture the scenery here. We're approaching the main area and it's golden hour. We have a little bit of light. It's pretty perfect timing. Yeah. It's I drove really actually. fast to get here yeah. in a good light. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and in some weird way, I'm actually glad that this is going on right now because, you know, ideally we'll have another chance to come back and do Mount Ikea, but how many times are we going to be able to see a protest here? That's so right. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's and very we see. Newsworthy. We're seeing some kind of prayer or something happening there. Yeah, we'll go see what's going on. Hopefully they will predispose, but all we want to do is spotlight their cause, so... Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll be opposed to that. Well, here we see the, some of the tents where people have been lodging for a long time. And we are seeing some kind of dance going on. Hawaiian flags flying. This is the sign says kapu, which I think means forbidden. <laughs> this is literally happening under the summit of Mauna Kea.
มาเข้าเข้าโอ้โค้ยะฮิตเด Descendants of this land, we take our place here, not because we think it's all right from a real ego kind of standpoint. No, no, no. We take our place here because our mama needs us, because she sustains us, not just with her resources, but because her and this m a u n a over here. They protect this island from major. And I couldn't say the word out loud, you know. The kind of things. We cannot do that. Only entities as large as these can do that. And as the whole Aina, we say we're not gonna let. Another building go on top. We are the Hoa v e l o l i k e the Pacific Island cousins. They came. All we had to do was only to them. They came, and they keep coming. They come in the way of food for the Kupuna tent. They come in the way of this mat that we're sitting on, doing the aha. They come in the way of people sharing their language and their chants, and bringing their most beloved treasures. They part with their most beloved treasures because, in their eyes, we are them. We are the Hoa Pili. Where are our Hoa Pili? They're all over. I see them walking all over. We see them in the news, standing for their water rights. We see them in the news, protecting water from unnecessary construction. We see them in the news, trying to restore a forest that has been ravaged. Those are our Hoa Pili, and yet. They have time to come and stand with us, and we stand with you. Aloha e n a h o aloha, because nobody else would stand this kind, this this kind of self-discipline that we have to we have to live in this self-discipline. Kapo aloha is not a brand new thing. The Makako and the Makaka El know what this is. We are they, because there is nobody else to stand here. We it. We are the Kukia Imauna. We are the Pohakuku, the standing rocks. We are the foundational rocks, all over this place. The very rocks that make up this island. That's why we cannot just give up, go home. 
these rocks are us. The elements in these very rocks are in your bones. We're not just, we're not just uh, uh, protecting the vai for our consumption. We're protecting the vai for this kumoku hali'i. You see all the greenery that covers the landscape that pops up by itself out of the lava. Those people. We protect the water because even our fish that live in the ocean, in next to the papa, in the coral reefs, they need fresh water too. Thank Thankfully, Big Mama has stores of vai in liquid form, in solid form, all the way from the top. Kodi even talk about this place today. We learned a lot of stuff. Besides what we already know, ah, blow my mind. Water all inside here. That's why we look in Hana Ino. Because we know the water is down there. That's who we are. And we rise like a mighty wave every time we come and recommit to this process. It might not be the most perfect aha, uh -huh, but it's perfect every single time you put your best, best energy inside. That's what makes it perfect. It's not perfect because of the people who sit on that mat. The aha is not perfect just because of the melee itself. Or because our footwork is all super duper. You should see the footwork I can see from over there. <laughs> no. Our aha is perfect because with whatever we had at the moment, we brought together and we taught out because we knew that five people cannot possibly hold ritual for this big mountain and all of the elements that she, that is in her sphere of influence for an undeterminable number of days. It's going to take a pie aina. And by you coming and putting, doing your best, that's what makes the aha perfect. Ooh, and if that's the only thing we have in common, that's enough. We just witnessed the protest dance of the protesters here. It was entirely in Hawaiian language and it consisted of what I think hula. Yep. It was uh, multiple hula dances. Uh, what's interesting is you have a lot of locals taking part and Native Hawaiians, but there's also like there was a lady from, I'm not sure where she was from, but she, I don't think she was from this area, but she said that she came in a week ago and she's here in solidarity. So you have people flying in from all over the world. Uh, this whole protest has gotten a lot of international attention. It's been going on since April. And as they reminded us, you know, part of why they're out there, actually the whole reason why they're out there is to show discipline and integrity. And it sounds like they're just the front line of defense. So they are there 24 seven. I think they're dancing not only to, um, as part of the movement, but also just to literally keep themselves moving because it is cold and the sun just went down. Yeah, it's only getting colder from now. Mm -hmm. And so the protest is really obstructing the road to prevent the construction of a very large large telescope here, mm -hmm. which is what, the 17th, they would be here, or 14th, something well, like that? Well, 13th, I think. Yeah. So there's already, I think, 12 or 13 uh, telescopes here. This one that they've been building would be, I think, huge. I think it's like 17 stories. Yeah. It would be huge, uh, over a billion dollars. But yeah, they are standing here to protest the construction of that.
that telescope. And we'll see how long you'll be able to hold out and what the outcome will be. Uh, you can hear the speech for yourself. We're not going to present any opinion or side on this. This is simply what we saw. Mm -hmm. This is just coverage for us. And, you know, it's unfortunate we're not able to visit, but at the same time, I do think it's important to be here to document this while it's going on because it is a very historic uh, protest that's going on and we'll have to keep an eye out and see what happens, what the right. result is. It is still unfolding.